Hello and welcome to my channel on human design. Last week I uh, did the 46th gate because it was in the transit and uh, I loved your feedback and the fact that you were really seeing it in yourselves and seeing the effects of the 46 in the world around you. So it's like, how do you get further into human design? You can look at your own chart again and again. You can study, you can look at your friends and your family and learn through that. But yes, you can also learn through the transits. It's one of the reasons um, I put in the daily impact in my on my website. And there's a link below if you want to see what the transit is uh, every day. But to encourage you to do that, I thought I would continue that. And if you're watching this when it's just come out, uh, the 18th gate will be in the sun. So the 18th gate is about correction. It's about comparing things to how they are and how they could be. It's a kind of an imprinting gate where you can see what's wrong in the patterns of things, you know, that could be improved, you know. It is the awareness to see how things are not right. It's got a kind of dissatisfaction in it. And for that reason, you know, it's it can challenge authority. You know, you're not doing it right. You know, why should you be in power because you don't know what you're doing? You should be doing it this way. So there's this corrective vibe that's about. Now, of course, this is something that can be uh, get irritated when things are not right. It can be irritating when it's trying to, when the awareness is being spoken without invitation, and then it can be the bitch gate. You know, well, you should have done that. You could have done that. Why don't you do that? Come on, you've got to do this. You know, this kind of thing. So I actually have a great love for this gate. I have the 58th gate, the, the energy of joy for improvement. So actually, I love the 18s. You know, if they say to me, well, look, you can, you should be doing it that way, Richard, I go, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> you know, it's not like don't, don't criticize me. It's like, great. You know, and to see it in that way, you'll be looking at your own life during this time and you'll be thinking, well, you know, that's not right. And, and I need to do that. And we've got to correct this and we could refine this. And so in that sense, it's very useful, you know, using this uh, energy that's coming in the transits. What needs to be corrected? You're going to see it now better than you would most times, even if you don't have it in you. So it's something to take advantage of, um, and it's logical. So it's about logical, it's about um, really getting things to your taste. Like this is part of the stream of taste. So anyone with the 18, their form of correction will be according to their taste. And of course it will have a certain utilitarian um, attribute to it as well, because after all, it wants to make things better. It wants to make things easier. It wants to make things more streamlined. It wants to make things more beautiful, shining them up, you know, cleaning them up. So some 18s really enjoy the cleaning and the improving through cleaning. And others don't at all. <laughs> others can't be bothered at all. It depends on the conditioning and very often the conditioning from the parents. You know, the the boy being affected by the mother, the daughter being affected by the father, you know, this kind of Oedipus Electra energy that can be there. So if you're a, a woman and you had a good father, then you'll be comparing all your lovers to your father. It just will be the case. But there is built into this wanting to really make things better. And in that sense, it has a a, a great regard for human rights. It is the uh, the gate of correction and work on what has been spoilt by uh, in in the hexagram. So it's really about helping helping humanity, helping people into a more functional life. And I find it's incredibly useful, incredibly valuable. And you know, I have the energy to add to the to that awareness to get something done. So I personally have benefited a great deal from the 18s. 
if of course it's in an open center, then there's the dissatisfaction that the mind goes into in the comparisons of things all the time. And then you can get lost in that, you know, and then you can get lost in the fact that nothing's, uh, nothing's as good as it could be, you know, it can feed that. So you've got to see, is it in an open center? Is it in a fixed center? If it's in you, and if you're looking at it in an open center, then of course you have to consider all the rest of the openness in the chart. But knowing the qualities of the gates and seeing them really impact us in our lives during the day. I mean, this is the value of it. This is the fun of it. You know, what's going on? You know, let's look at the transit. Ah, that's what's happening. I'm being imprinted through the neutrinos coming here, giving me this to encounter, to live through, to learn from. If we look at the lines, we can see that when we're thinking about correction, it can be done gradually. You know, there is this incremental side of logic that things can get better and better. You know, if you can't do it all now, then what can you do? And that understanding also is very useful to take into one's life just in the living of it. And of course, there are going to be things where you can't correct any, when you can't do anything about it, where there is no correction possible. When someone has died, as an example, or when the car is a total write-off, you know, there's certain things like, okay, you know, we got to deal with this in some way. We've got to, you know, accept that nothing can be done, you know, no matter what we feel about it. And then when you get to the third gate, the third line, you get to zealotry. So this is a, like, you know, the real energetic obsession that's in there to clean things up, to make things better. You know, quite something by trial and error, of course, you know, you can overdo it, you know, you can overdo it to the point I was dealing with um, uh, reading the other day and someone had that in their chart. And it was like, well, you know, not all the staff are going to be able to keep to your high standards continually. You know, it's a it's it's quite a a drive to be in that energy, no matter how good it is. And then again, in the fourth line, you get to the point where nothing could be done because of inadequacies, you know, and really, and again, when you think about the imprinting side of it, the pattern recognition that is in the 18th gate, you know, well, what patterns have you taken in? I mean, what patterns have you been imprinted with? You know, if you've been imprinted with dysfunctional patterns, it's going to be very difficult, which leads us to the fifth line which is about therapy you know the 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 understanding that i'm going to need help from outside i need an expert to come in i need someone who to can help me with this problem that i have logic will always see things in terms of problems well problems or excuses fifth lines always have this kind of edge to them so again there is this this kind of crazy side that can come up in the 18 sometimes where you know you feel very unstable because you can't get everything right and so many things are wrong and and the danger of course is to turn it inside it's to say you know there's something wrong with me that i cannot fix you know i'm a crazy person um you know because i want things just like this and just like that and it's just not like that in the world so there's all that involved you know and then moving finally up to be able to relax a little bit more about the correction and uh you know move from the mundane into more of the uh, the spiritual into more of the refining at higher levels you know through perhaps through the breath or through the meditation practice or through whatever it may be for you you know and when we get to the sixth line and we get to the perfected form again, it's like when you've when you've really gone through all the stages and working to improve something and getting really good at it down to incremental details, beautiful things can come from this. Beautiful things can come from this. So it's quite an energy to have in the in the field around us. And I suggest you use it well. You know, I'm doing my accounts at this point. You know, it's very easy for me to to work with figures when this energy comes in because of its logical nature. And if you catch yourself 
complaining about things or seeing what isn't wrong. No, it's a transit. Please understand that transits come and transits go. You can take advantage of them. You can, you can learn from them if you're learning human design. You can see them reflected in your life and you can get a better understanding of what these energies are that make up the Maya. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please like, share and subscribe. And I will be back again very soon with something completely different. Bye-bye for now.